Hello, and welcome back. Today I'm, it's not so much a tutorial, I'm, but I'm just going to be talking about a few add-ons I've been experimenting with and playing with you lately. It's just a couple of them. Uh, the first one is a paid add-on. It's Creature Kit Bash um, by Dragon Boot Studios. There's a lot more Sort of information on how to use it and things on uh, Jamie Dunbar's channel, he's the creator. So I will post a link to that and to the actual site. Overall, it's a great add-on. It's re really useful for quickly bashing together weird monsters. If you want something, just a sort of weird concoction of animal parts, and it's got a great um, library of assets to use as well. Definitely worthwhile. Um, it combines with the Blender's uh, Asset Manager, super easy to use. Um, the scaling is set to Blender's default, so everything's a little bit on the small side. But you can either make your model dead small or just scale up the pieces as you import them and use them. It's not difficult. In hindsight, I will probably for future models be making them small and then just scaling them up to fit the 3D printer as as I uh, as I come to use them. On top of that, the inclusion of all the George Zaki assets, uh, the, all the base meshes, just makes this an absolute. Uh, bargain buy anyway. So here in the video I'm just quickly mashing together a bunch of bits, seeing what it comes up with. There's no real sort of thought to what I'm making and that's kind of the beauty of it. You just create, add bits, see what you come up with. I believe it's some kind of weird bear, ogre, centaur thing. Yeah, a lot of fun. Once you've finished um, putting together a quick base mesh using all the assets, it's simple map. It's got um, features for you either booleaning all the different parts together or just joining them. You can then go into sculpt mode and do what you will with them. Um, you can remesh them, make it nice and manifold, increase the geometry, however you like. Great for making weird miniatures for you, your good tabletop games. Anyway, enjoy the rest of this sort of weird mashing together and I'll be back in a minute to finish it off and talk about another add-on that I've found particularly useful. Enjoy! The other add-on I've found particularly useful recently for, um, this, for adding a lot of extra detail and geometry is uh, Bygen. It um, uses geometry nodes to add procedural surface effects. So here I'm going to use it to sort of add a fur effect to the, uh, the back of the ogre creature I've made. So this one looked a bit like fur. Thought I'd give it a go. The 
in the geometry nodes, just play with the settings, a little fiddle, see what you like the look of. I re always recommend sort of playing with the numbers a little bit and generally making them smaller rather than bigger to see what they affect and how they affect things. This goes for any sort of add-on or modifier that you're using. Just give everything a little tweak and see how it affects the, the geometry that's been added. One thing you will need to add in if you are intending to 3D print the model with this extra geometry is you'll need to add a Realize Instances node which turns all the geometry nodes instances that are created into actual geometry for your model. Then you can remesh to make it manifold. I'm kind of happy with that. So yeah, keep playing with it. And as always, have fun.